of its friends, I'm back because in this video I want to show you some of the necklaces I've made during this period. Uh, one of the necklaces, the one I'm wearing, and uh, as always, I stop chatting and I will show you my creations. Let's start uh, with the necklace I was wearing. There are three polymer clay caps I've made, drop cap drop caps and uh, I beaded bezel the, the drop caps using the same pattern that I have shown you in one of the previous video. Then I made this decoration here at the bottom with some bohemian glasses uh, sides uh, three millimeters and then also I joined the three caps using bohemian glasses. For the necklace I decided for this uh, very simple solution because I've tried a lot of things, but um, the, the central part of the, of the necklace was so, is so delicate that the, the necklace all around the neck must be very, very small. Otherwise, the central part of the necklace disappears in the creation. So I think I like the solution and at the end, of the necklace I have made this finding using a very strong wire okay and it's very easy to make I've, I have also made a tutorial for this kind of finding okay so you can find the tutorial on the website and on the other side I've made this loop so that I can put this part inside the loop and so I can close my necklace in this way. For the back part of the cab, as you can see, I put some ultra suede. I glue the ultra suede on the back of the caps and then I beaded bezel the caps. Then there are two necklaces I've made using the crochet rope. It is really very very simple and you know there is a tutorial on the crochet rope on my website and I want to show you the necklace the old necklace here it is and I like to wear the, the disc on my heart so not in the central part of my chest but on the side and then I like this effect and this is the other crochet rope necklace also very very simple, I use three discs. If I well remember, I bought these discs a long time ago on bricolart.be and they are very big, maybe 40 millimeters. And um, I made this crochet rope and I made the crochet rope using Gutterman beads. These are the bits I'm talking about and they are very good for uh, making crochet ropes because they are very regular and even if uh, the size is not 11 there is no problem because nine, uh, size 9 is just a little bit bigger than the 11 so I think that the size is very good for crochet ropes okay here you can see the, the crochet rope and if I well remember, I also used some seed beads, size 11, here, the blue one. This is another necklace I've made, in this case there is a cameo, and the technique I've used for the pendant is the embroidery technique, for the necklace the herring bone, tubular herring bone. It's a small cameo, the size is 18 by 13 millimeters. And I have just surrounded my cameo using some beads and uh, this is the effect, very simple, because uh, with the embroidery technique, the funny thing, the nice thing about embroidery technique uh, is uh, that there isn't a very specific technique, you just have to glue all your uh, components uh, on, the, um, on a piece of ultra suede and then you can sew all the beads all around your your components and your components can be caps, cameos, uh, crystals, whatever you want, no problem, buttons if you like, so you have no problem at all and your imagination can, can go wherever it wants 
it's wonderful. On the back part, as you can see, I put another piece of ultra sweet to cover the back part of the work, and uh, it's really, really very, very simple. For uh, for the necklace, I've choose this uh, this stitch. You can find the tutorial about this stitch on my on my channel too. And this is the finding, a T-bar finding, I've chosen for uh, this necklace. So very very simple. Then the last piece is this pendant, another embroidery beadwork with uh, the same cameo as you can see in the center. But in this case, I, uh, I've used uh, different kind of beads because there are some super duo beads here. These are super duo beads. Then there are some butterflies, maybe they are called butterflies, and uh, these are the beads I'm calling butterflies. Uh, they have the shape of the number eight and they have a hole in the middle. And I like the effect on, on, the, on this work because as you can see, they go outside from the work and because they are a little bit transparent they give to the to the work a um, crystal effect I think and, the, and um, the work is very shiny between the, the butterfly beads I've put some bohemian glasses, bronze bohemian glasses and then, and then there are some seed beads sides 11 here, the yellow ones so very very simple on the back part even in this case I've covered my back part with another slice of ultra sweet and for this pendant I have still to make a necklace to wear my, my pendant it's not very easy to find a good stitch for this kind of creation because it's very complex and I don't want my beadwork becomes too heavy to, to wear but not heavy because um, of the weight heavy because uh, to to reach okay so uh, I'd like to put a very simple necklace all around and uh, I have to choose uh, <laughs> the one I like uh, I still don't know as always I hope that my beadwork can inspire you and see you on the next video bye bye